Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel Modern Modis. You know those super cute knit matching top and short sets that pop up on Pinterest every time spring rolls around? Well, today I'm going to be making my very own knit matching set and I'm going to be using $4 fabric I found in Walmart last summer. I'm going to be using this sweater as a guide for my top. I like that these sleeves are boxy, which will be easier to trace onto my fabric. I'm just going to fold my sweater in half and line up the fold of my sweater with the fold of my fabric and trace it onto my fabric. Then I'm going to cut this out, adding two inches to the length of my sweater for hem allowance and just a little extra length. And this is how my front is looking now. I cut here the shoulder to match with the shoulder seam and I also cut the lower neckline since this will be the front of my top. Here's the front, I'm going to cut the back in two pieces so I'm going to use this to trace out my back piece. Seam allowance should have actually been added to this edge but because my sweater is already a bit oversized I don't mind losing that little extra seam allowance, but yeah, make sure since this is going to be a seam in the back, you add your seam allowance there. Also, the back neckline needs to be higher than the front neckline. I cut two backs out and then I went and cut my sleeves out. I matched this top edge of my sleeve with the shoulder seam here and then I decided to curve out my sleeve like this and I cut this on the fold here. I went and I cut two strips of fabric one inch wide just like this and I basically added it to the center back the same exact way you would add bias tape. See this is how it's looking and after that I sewed the two back halves together from here to here. And now I'm just going to go and top stitch this edge down to the inside all the way down. Then the front gets sewn to the back at the shoulders. Now let's go at the sleeves. We're almost done with the top. All we need to do is finish the bottom, finish the sleeves, and finish the neckline. So starting with the easiest one, I'm going to go and finish the sleeve hem. And I went and I searched the raw edge, and I'm just going to do a double fold. I'm going to be adding in this elastic at the bottom hem of my sweater. So I already went and searched the raw edge, and I'm just going to, you can turn it up once if you want to. I think I'm gonna turn it up twice and I'm going to go and create a casing. I cut this strip of the knit fabric on the bias and I'm just going to attach it to the neckline the same way I would attach bias tape so I have it pinned to the wrong side of my neckline and then I'm going to have ties so I cut my strip to be a couple inches longer.
Now I'm gonna trace the shorts. So I went and picked this pair from my closet and I'm just going to fold it in half and trace it onto my fabric. This is how it's looking and I cut two of these. Then I folded the shorts the opposite way to trace the back and added two inches to the length of both the front and back short pieces. And here are the back two. Now I'm going to search the two fronts together, right sides facing, and the two backs together along the curved edge like so. I had just enough fabric to do some inseam pockets, so I cut four pocket pieces, and I searched the pocket pieces to the sides of the front of the shorts and to the sides of the back of my shorts, right sides facing. Then I went and I pinned and searched the front of my shorts to the back of my shorts. The shorts are almost finished. All we need to do is add a waistband and hem the bottom of the shorts. I went and I cut my back waistband and my front waistband. And I made sure it was wide enough for my elastic. And I'm almost out of elastic, so I had to go and like sew two pieces together. But now it fits my waist perfectly. And I'm just going to go and sew my front and back waistband together along either short side. I pinned my waistbands and my shorts right sides facing and then sewed the two together. I tried my shorts on to make sure everything fit, then I searched the raw edge and I finished my shorts with a double fold hem on each leg. And that completes this project.